This is a nice flat. Mm. There's a living room, there's a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom. And there's a bidet! What's a bidet? It's like a toilet, only better. I'll let you figure it out. Well, none of my friends have a bidet, and even if I don't know what it is, they will be jealous when I tell them. Well, here's the kitchen. Hmm, it's very small. Yes, it isn't very large, but there are a cooker and a fridge. There are some cupboards under the sink. Are there any plates? Yes, there are. Good. Are there any chairs in here? No, there aren't. But uh, there are some in the living room. Hmm. There aren't any glasses. Yes, there are. They're in the cupboard. And, uh, where's the toilet? Is there a bakery near here? Yes, you can get there in five minutes. That's good. I don't have much time. Why are you going to the bakery? To buy a birthday cake. Whose birthday is it? My daughter's. She's ten. That's nice. Will you get some bread for me? Sure. Do you want anything else? No, thanks. I'll pay you when you get back. I'm trying to find a wedding anniversary present for my wife. Yes, sir. What exactly are you looking for? I'm not sure, really. Perhaps you can help me. Right. I'll show you some pendants? No, I bought a pendant for her birthday. Maybe a necklace, then. These necklaces are made of gold. Yes. I like this one. What's the stone? It's a ruby, sir. And it's only $1,200. Ah, well, perhaps you could show me some bracelets, then. Where is your meeting? In Dallas, Texas. How are you getting there? By plane. Do you like to fly? Sure. It's fast and comfortable. I'm afraid of flying. That's silly. Flying is very safe. Maybe, but I don't feel safe on a plane. I understand. A lot of people feel that way. I'd like to reconfirm my plane reservation. What flight are you taking? Flight 207. And your name, please? Henry Chandler. Yes, sir. You're booked on flight 207. Please check in at the airport an hour before flight time. Thank you. Are you free Friday night? I might not be in town. I'm not sure yet. A friend suggested I go to Vancouver. Well, a few of us are getting together, and I thought you might want to come too. What are you thinking of doing? We're not sure yet. We might go to a bar, but... We'll probably go to see AI. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Well, come then. Sure, I'll... if I'm in town.
I'll let you know. Oh, Miss Wallace, long time no see. How are you? Good, thank you. How's your new job? I started working today. How does it seem so far? It's demanding, but I'm happy to be working. What's your boss like? He appears to be very thoughtful and kind, but they all do at first. I guess we'll have to see. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks, take care. Good morning. Perhaps you can advise me. Yes, ma'am? I'm looking for a toy for my niece. Oh, yes. How old is she? She'll be seven years old on Sunday. Skateboards are very popular. Mm, I don't want her to hurt herself. What about a Barbie doll set? I don't think so. She has many Barbie dolls. Have you got anything educational? You see, she's a very intelligent girl. I've got the perfect thing. A do-it-yourself kit where you can build your own Barbie doll who rides a skateboard. Can I get some tickets for plays? Yes, is there a specific play that you want to see? What plays are on tonight? Cats, but it's sold out. Are there any seats left for tomorrow night? Yes, how many tickets do you want? Two, please. Where would you like to sit? I'm not sure. Well, here's a seating plan for the concert hall. How much is the middle section? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? That's a little expensive for us. How much is it in the back? Thirty-five dollars. That's fine. What time does the play start? At seven o'clock. What time will the play be over? At 9.30. How are you settling in? Oh, we're still in a bit of a mess, but Lisa seems to like it here. That's good. Is there a garden for her to play in? Yes, it's not very big, but we've got a small swimming pool. Have you found a school for Gary? Yes, there's one near here. It only takes five minutes by car. That's good. So you like it here, do you, Neil? Yes, it's a very good place for my children. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Maria. Maria. Long time no see. How is it going? Great, thank you. Pretty well, thanks. And you? So-so, thanks. How was your summer vacation, Tom? It was so interesting. Wow, what did you do? I went back to the countryside to visit my grandparents and stayed there for two weeks. Where is your grandparents' house? My grandparents' home is in a small village in Vermont, a state in New England. Well, then tell us what's there and what you did there. Of course. Everyone there is very friendly, and they all know each other. It is a pretty quiet and peaceful place because there aren't many vehicles or factories there. 
The air is clean and fresh, and the landscapes are breathtaking. What I liked most about that village was that you could enjoy several sports activities there. I also made some friends there. I played some interesting sports with them. I tried rock climbing there. It's so cool. Really? I think it's too dangerous. No, no, my friend. The feeling of being conquering was great. What else did you do there? On windy days, we went flying a kite. We also went swimming in the afternoon. Floating on the inflatable mattress was so relaxing. We hiked together to the top of the mountain, Camel's Hump. It has this distinctive peak like the hump of a camel. That's so amazing! I visited Ben and Jerry's ice cream factory. That entire place was so cute and creative, and as soon as you walked in, you're enveloped in that oh-so-amazing ice cream and cookie smell. Wow, so great. I love it. I really enjoyed my vacation. Yes, your trip was awesome. Well, what about you, Peter? I went to the beach with my family for summer vacation. I enjoyed that trip very much. It was extremely wonderful. The climate was great there. During the day, it was sunny and windy. At night, it was cold. I went surfing when there were big waves in the sea. I also tried wind surfing. It is a great water sport, too. We swam and dived to watch the corals together. Underwater life is beautiful and magical. We had to wear goggles underwater to protect our eyes. What I liked most was riding on a jet ski. It's so exciting. Oh, that sounds good. And you, Maria? I took Taekwondo lessons and I spent the time to join the guitar club. I also learned to swim. Taekwondo? What color belt do you have? White. I want to get my blue belt soon. Great! What about your swimming lessons and guitar club? Was there anything? Yes, there was. I had two swimming lessons a week, and I went to the guitar club once a week. On the last vacation, my guitar club organized a camping trip, and I joined. We had so many wonderful adventures. We participated in the archery competition. We learned to how to shoot arrows at the archery targets. Tarzan swings were really exciting. We also jumped on a trampoline. It was a lot of fun, too. We split into two teams and played tug of war. Wow, quite a lot of activities during that trip. Yes, because there were quite a lot of people who have joined. Mm -hmm. 
Hello. I'm Jack. Hello. My name is Anne. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. So, this is the house? It's really beautiful. Yes, it is. But it's very difficult to keep clean. Sorry. Not a good start. Don't worry. Your accent is very clear. Where are you from? I'm from Oxford. Wow, Oxford. 100% English. Yes, and you're American. Is that right? Yes, but my family is from Italy. Bologna. Oh, Italy is wonderful. My sister is in Italy at the moment. Where? She's in Rome, studying Italian painters. She's really happy. Italians are so friendly. Oh, that's Alice. Hi. She is also part of the family. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Alice. So, this is Jack, the new flatmate? Yes. Nice to meet you, Jack. I'm from Sydney, in Australia. And you are a Capricorn. Yes, amazing. I come from America. I'm from New York. Wow, the Big Apple. Yes. Okay, um, can I put my things in the bedroom? Let me help you. Hey, this is nice. I'm glad you like it. It's a Mexican hat. You look great. But look at this. A bottle of Italian wine. Do you like wine? Cheers! Mmm. This wine is very good. Mmm. Yes, it's really good. Um, by the way, you are very lucky. Look, it's raining now. Yes, I am lucky. Um, that's my photo album there. The pictures of all my friends are here. Oh, that's interesting. Show me. So, this is Mary. She's from Ireland. Her mother and father are Greek. Her parents are from Greece? Yes, they are Greek. They're from Athens. Oh, and who's that? That's Alice! No. That's not Alice. Yes, it is. After a party. A Halloween party. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. And, oh, and who are they? That's Sharon and Peter. They live in the flat near here. They're good friends. She's very pretty. Um, yes. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jack. I'm a new flatmate. It's nice to meet you. Hello, Jack. I'm Peter Nash. And Sharon? Okay, and this is Sharon. Uh, it's a pleasure. How are you, Sharon? Fine, thanks. Oh, good! You're friends! Anne, you are a great cook. Thank you, Jack. I have a form I need to fill in. Can you help me? Of course, but what form? Finally. I have all the points, and I can get that marvelous set of Chinese plates. 
Oh, congrats! All right, let me see the questions. What's your name? Are you joking? <laughs> okay, okay. A N N E. And what's your family name? My surname. Yes. Right, Baxter. B A X T E R. And what's your phone number? It's O four five four seven eight six two O nine seven. O four five four seven eight eight two O nine seven. No, it's o four five four seven eight six two o nine seven. Right. You have to remember, this is your telephone number two. You're right. Are you married? No, I'm single. But a pretty girl like you is still single. Yes. For the moment, I'm single. Next question, please. Where are you from? There are a lot of questions. It's for your Chinese plates. Okay. For the last time, I'm from England, from Oxford. A X F O R D. No. O X F O R D. Just joking. It's okay. What's next? Just two more questions. The address is forty-five Trinity Lane, Flat C. What's the postcode? E C one four R N. E C one. Four R N, and what's your job? I'm an employee of a publishing company. Oh, you are just the right person for me. I have a great love story to write. I always go shopping on Saturdays. The first thing I do on Saturday is to drive to the supermarket. I sometimes go shopping on Saturdays, but usually I sleep late. I'm always so tired on Saturdays. I'm never tired at the weekend. The weekend is the time for fun. I paint, go jogging, go out with some friends. Unfortunately, I sometimes have to study. Oh, I sometimes do a little work at the weekend. When I'm free, I like going swimming, going to exhibitions or to concerts if I have enough money. Oh, and every Sunday, I clean up the entire flat, and in the evening, I watch TV. Oh. I never watch TV. It's so boring. Peter and I like going to the cinema on the weekend. Yes, it's important not to watch too much TV. An hour a day or so. That's enough. Come on, guys. You talk like my grandfather. Work, TV, housework on the weekends. Life is more. I want you to take me to places where young people have fun. Great. Get ready, Grandpa. Work is so hard, guys. I wake up at six thirty every day, have breakfast, and take the train to work every day. I know. I get up at seven, but. I have a friend at work who usually gets up at six. Why?
That's too early. It takes him an hour to drive to work. Wow, that's a long drive. Yes, but he lives in the country. I think he's lucky. Every weekend he can go for walks in the woods, not in traffic jams. I guess that's pretty nice. He lives in the countryside but works in the city. Pretty nice combination. And what about you, Sharon? What time do you wake up? I usually get up at about nine o'clock. But I live in the city. It's easy to get to work. Yeah, but you get home very late, often at six thirty or seven. You know, I sometimes have five or six groups of tourists a day. You work too much, my dear. And you sing too much, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Alice, I bet you don't wake up at six o'clock every day. Tell us something about your typical day at university. Well, I sometimes have classes in the morning, but I usually have classes in the afternoon. On Mondays, I always attend lectures in the morning. And where do you study? I usually study in the library, but I sometimes study at home too, when I don't have classes in the morning. My friend David also studies at your university. Do you remember him? David Leary. Yes, I occasionally see him in the library, and sometimes in the park. In the park, doing what? He likes studying there. He takes his books, finds a nice park bench, and reads there. Not a bad idea. You can study and enjoy nature at the same time. Yes, I like the park too. Unfortunately, I often need books that are in the library. And what about lunch? Do you usually make sandwiches and take them with you? Oh no, I hate cooking. I usually have lunch in the cafeteria with friends. Oh, I do just the opposite. I usually cook lunch at home. I seldom have a quick lunch at coffee shops. Okay, guys, stop with this boring talk. What about? Fun. Do any of you do anything besides working and studying? It's Saturday, remember? You're right, Jack. I'm so happy it's Saturday. Me too. It's weekend time. Time for shopping. Hi, Alice. What are you doing? I'm just relaxing a bit, watching some TV. What's on? I'm watching the news. So, what's happening in the world? The usual. Politicians are trying to pretend they know what they are doing. <laughs> Alice, you are such a skeptic. That's the way I am. What's that? It's a book I'm reading. What's it about? It's a story about a woman, a young woman, who can't stand her father. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it's not that bad. Alice, what's wrong? Do you want to talk about it? No, I'm so tired now. I'm going to bed. Good night. What are you doing? I'm connecting to the internet because I need to send an email. Who are you sending an email to? To my boss in America. He needs the weekly report immediately. Why? 
because he has a meeting with the shareholders tomorrow morning. What's happening with the laptop? The internet connection isn't working very well. Sometimes it happens to my computer too. Do you have a suggestion? Usually, Peter lends me his computer. Is Peter at home? No, I think there's only Sharon. Okay, I'm going anyway. Yes, I am listening to you. Yes, I'm listening. Who's she talking to? I don't know. I guess it's her father. Just a moment. What do you want? Nothing. It's four o'clock in the morning. Is everything all right, Alice? It's none of your business. What? Excuse us. Sorry to interrupt. Listen, I know it's late. I'm sorry. But I'm talking to my father. He's in Boston now. It's nine o'clock there. What? What do you want? <laughs> I'm not tired anymore. <laughs> Neither am I. What about eating something? I don't know. I'm not really hungry. I'm going to the internet to chat with a friend in Italy. Would you like to join me? <laughs> Now that I'm not sleeping anymore. Would you like to see him? How? I have pictures of him on my computer. And you know what? He can see you too, with the webcam. What? Oh my gosh! No, please! I'm horrible now! No, you're not. And besides, he might be interested. Why? Do you think I need a boyfriend? Fine. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Bye bye. Oh my god! Okay, guys, don't panic. What? We have to be strong and try to keep calm. What are you talking about? She's coming tomorrow morning. Who, for God's sake? Who? Aunt Mary, the owner of the flat. So what? Your auntie? What's so terrible about her? Let me explain. Imagine me in fifty years. You mean you, old, with your manias, your cleaning obsessions? Oh my God. Okay, okay, don't panic. So, what do we have to do? Let me see. What do you have scheduled for today? Today is a busy day. I have to finish my painting. No way! Painting means brushes, colors, dirt and mess everywhere. As for me, let's check my date book. Date book? I don't believe it. You mean you don't have a PDA? Please, Alice, I have a program on my laptop. I don't need a PDA as well. I'm just surprised, that's all. You are usually highly technological. That's not entirely true. I like to use paper and pen as well. Okay, leave it, guys. Let's go straight to the point. What's on your schedule today? I'm meeting a client from four to five, and then I'm going to the mall. Why are you going to the mall? I want to buy a new modem for my PC. A new modem? 
That's not exactly business. Yes. Well, there's something wrong with mine. Okay. Maybe it's not that important. I can go tomorrow morning. That's very kind of you, Jack. Well, let me see. I've got a list with all your duties here. But what is it? It's always with me. For emergencies, you know? Like this one. Jack! At your order, General. You have to clean up the kitchen. You're washing the dishes, cleaning the oven and the fridge, the burners and the basin. Oh, and finally, you have to sweep and mop the floor. I'm ready. Oh, and obviously, you have to clean your bedroom, too. Sounds exciting. Alice, you have to clean the living room. You have to throw all these magazines out, put all the CDs in order, clean up the carpet, and dust the furniture. Do I have to mop the floor as well? Of course! As for me, I'm cleaning the bathroom and all the windows. Well, I want you both in the living room at half past six for a detailed report, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well done, guys. I'm proud of you. Neat and clean. Rather stressful, I know. But at last, the flat is perfectly clean. Yes. But now it's us that needs to be cleaned. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Aunt Mary! Everything is ready for your arrival. I'm picking you up at the airport tomorrow at... What? Really? Oh, I understand. What a shame. Oh, no, no. Not a problem at all. I hope you get well soon. Right. Bye-bye. So? What? Aunt Mary isn't coming anymore. She's got a cold. <laughs> hey, guys! I've got the part! But... What's happening here? <laughs> Nothing special. Congratulations, Peter. Hi, Sharon. Have a seat. Thanks, Anne. It's almost ready. What's for brunch? Oh no, pasta. You can't cook pasta. I'm trying to lose weight. Relax, dear. It's Sunday. Here, try some. What about salt? Good. I guess I can eat it this time. The salt is okay. Do you like cooking? Why don't you cook lunch for us sometime? Oh, I love cooking. But it takes time and... I can't cook every day. Well, cooking is not my favorite hobby, but I'm the only one who knows how to cook in this flat. I can imagine. I really love baking cakes. Um, oh, that's true. I remember now, and I love your cakes. Thanks, Anne. But cooking isn't my only hobby. I love going to the cinema and reading as well. I love being busy. So I don't have time to think too much. Think about what? 
about what's missing in my life. But let's talk about something else. So, if you like movies, there's a good film at the cinema tonight. How about going together? It's a good idea. Let's ask Jack, too. Hey, Jack! Good morning! Look at this picture of Beck Nicholson windsurfing. I know him. Can you windsurf? Yeah, I'm not great, but I can windsurf a little. I like windsurfing in the summer holidays. And what about you? No, I'm afraid I can't. But I can swim pretty well. It's a great sport. What sports do you like doing? Well, I can play tennis, but I'm not very good at it. Oh, I can play chess very well. Chess? That's not a sport. That's a hobby. <laughs> no, it's a sport. Can you play chess? No. I don't like playing cards, chess, or other table games. So, what do you do during the winter? Oh, I go to the gym. I can play basketball pretty well. I can also do a little karate. That's interesting. I can do a little karate as well. Where do you go? I like going to the karate gym on 4th Teenth Street. Oh, interesting. I'm looking for a gym. Why don't we go there together? I'm usually free on Saturdays. Sure. But I never go on Saturday. It's the only day I have time to spend with Sharon. I usually go on Friday afternoons, but now I'm so nervous about my audition that I don't have time for the gym, and for Sharon, too. <laughs> She's getting pretty angry. Well, if you want, I can take her out sometime. Oh, Jack, you're such a good friend. Maybe you can help me with my audition, too. All right. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Hi, Jack. I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm fine, too. Why are you calling me? Well, I'm alone. Anne is out for a business meeting. Yeah, me too. Peter is not at home. Oh, Peter is too? Yes, he's at an audition. He is at an audition? Today? Yes. Well, why don't we have lunch together? When? At home? No. Yeah. Don't be doing anything too fussy, Jack. Yes, something simple. Yes. So, I'm going to your house right now. Okay. Great! Hi, Jack. What's up? Oh, you're here. Um, I'm preparing for lunch. Anne is out and Sharon is coming. Great. I'm hungry. Hi, Jack. Hi. Alice is here. Yeah, she's in her room. Sorry about that. I would like to be alone with you, but you know. Yeah, I know. Okay. Sharon, I'm a cook. What would you like? Why don't you cook some pasta? Sounds good. What kind of pasta do you have? 
Well, we have macaroni, spaghetti. Let's have lasagna. Mmm, that's too much work. Shall we have spaghetti? Great, excellent. Spaghetti with meat sauce. Great. And how about having some wine with lunch? It's the middle of the day. I have to work later. Let's just have some mineral water. Fine. Mineral water is good. And what about a salad too? A nice green salad with tomatoes and onions. Your wish is my command. And about my wish, I want wine. Well, here's some red wine for you. Thanks. And do we have any rolls? No, but there's a loaf of bread. Great, we're set. What's on tonight? Hmm, just a moment. Can you hand me the TV guide? Oh, here you are. What would you like to watch? Let's watch a documentary. Oh, documentaries are so boring. Why don't we watch La Kids? Please, more soap operas. I can't stand soap operas. How about watching the news? Fine. Let's watch the news, and then maybe a film. Right, that's a good compromise. Shall we make something to eat? What would you like? How about some sandwiches, tuna fish sandwiches? Okay, tuna fish sandwiches. Why don't you go and prepare them all for us? All right, it's my turn now. Why? What do you mean? We had lunch with Sharon today, and Jack was the cook. Oh, what a piece of news! What would you like to drink? Let's have a beer. Great, we've got some good lager in the fridge. TV, sandwiches, and a beer—paradise. Have you got a moment, Peter? I've got a problem with my computer. Oh, I don't know very much about computers, and I'm going out. They're waiting for me at the theater. Always busy, eh? Okay, okay, Sharon. Take it easy. Shall we have a look? Thanks, Peter. You've got a big heart. Let's see if I can help before you thank me. All right. I can't use this program. I use it every day, and today it isn't opening. Hmm. Why don't you turn the computer off and then turn it on again? Okay, Peter. That's really a great idea. You are a genius. What would I do without you? I know, my dear. What are you working on? I'm writing my curriculum because I would like to find a new job. Listen, Peter. I don't know how to write it. Can you help me, please? I'm sorry, Sharon. I'm in a hurry. I have no time. I'm late. They're waiting for me. Very kind as usual. Listen, Peter, Anne, Alice, and I are going to the cinema this evening. Would you like to come? I'd like to, but I can't. I have to go to the theater. Yes, I know. You always have something else to do. Come on, Sharon. What's the problem? Maybe 
You are jealous of my career. Oh, Peter, I'm just tired of always coming second. Hi, Anne. Housework, huh? Yes, at last. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, how are you and Peter? We're fine, thanks. Listen, I want to go to that bookshop. Do you remember? Oh, yes. The one with lots of photography books. Yeah. And thriller books? Yeah. And with the red coffee tables and flowers on the windows? Yeah. Where you can sit down and find a delicious hot chocolate? Yes, and that's the one. The London Reader. It's a great place. Yes. How do I get there? Is it far? You can walk from here. It's about ten minutes away. Great. Okay, let's see. Go out the front door and turn left. Easy enough. Go straight ahead, past the traffic light. Right, straight ahead, past the traffic lights. Turn right into June Lane. June Lane. Follow June Lane to the end of the street and turn right on May Avenue. Just a moment. Turn left on May Avenue? No, no, no. Turn right onto May Avenue. And the bookshop is... Hi, Sharon. What are you girls talking about? I'm giving Sharon directions for the London Reader. So, turn right onto May Avenue, and the bookshop is the second shop on the left, next to the butcher. No, Anne. Sharon, the bookshop is on the right, past the museum and between a chemist's and a bank. No, no, Jack! You are wrong. The bookshop is... Okay, okay, guys, be quiet. Don't worry, I've got my map. Hmm. Sharon, I can come with you, if you don't mind. Great! That's very kind of you, Jack. Mmm, Jack, housework, do you remember? Hey, Alice, what are you doing? Do you mind giving us a hand with the housework, please? Can't you see? I'm cleaning the computer. I see, I see. Why is the computer on? Just a moment. I don't understand how to connect to the internet on this computer. Can you help me? Okay, but just for one moment. Thanks, Jack. Okay, click on that icon. What's an icon? That symbol on the screen. Do you mean this picture of a telephone? Yes. Click on that. Right. Now what? Enter your username and password. Okay. And click on that button there. Click on that button. And now you are connecting to the internet. Hey, that's easy. It's very easy, Alice. You're hopeless with computers. And with housework, too. Come on, Alice. 
It's time to clean up this mess now. Jack, where were you yesterday evening? Why? There was a great party at Mary's. Really? I wasn't invited. I can't believe that. Everyone was invited. I'm sure I wasn't. Anyway, I was busy yesterday. Ah, did you have a meeting with some clients? No, I didn't. So, what? Where were you? I was with Robert at the Red Lion Pub. That's impossible. Robert was at the party. Oops, I always get them mixed up. I was with Charles. Charles was at the party too. Come on, Jack. Who were you with? You're too curious, Alice. Okay, okay. I was with a girl. Ooh, ooh, and and what? Well, what's her name? Do we know her? How old is she? Stop, Alice. Stop. It's none of your business. Okay, okay. You don't want to tell us, hmm? That's okay. I like a mystery. It makes life exciting. Well, let's change the subject. Peter, where were you yesterday evening? Why weren't you at the party? I was at the theater. We're preparing a performance. And you, Sharon? Where were you? Me? Where were you? Um, I was at home watching a film on TV. Which one? Um, the latest film starring Nicole Kidman. What's the name? Yes, Moulin Rouge. Really? That's strange. I remember. Here. Look, it's on TV today. Really? Oh, they always show the same stuff on TV. Oh, don't get up. I'll get the door. There's a postcard for you, Alice. For me? Oh, it's from my father. He was in the Bahamas last week. Really? I was in the Bahamas last summer. Just you? Oops. Sorry, Sharon. We were in the Bahamas last summer. It was sunny and hot. The perfect weather for swimming and relaxing. It was fantastic. Fantastic, yeah, fantastic. I'm sure it was. I prefer holidays in the winter. It's too hot in the summer. I'm like going to the mountains and skiing. My last holiday was two years ago. Two years ago? Yes, it was a long time ago. I need another holiday soon. Anyway, was your father on holiday in the Bahamas, Alice? No, he wasn't. He's working on a new play there. Roy Clark. Oh, 
How fascinating must it be to be a director? Fame, money, and a lot of traveling around the world, and no time for family. Just a few calls, postcards, and a lot of misunderstandings. Why don't you call him now? I don't think that's a good idea. Why? When was your last call? Three weeks ago. That's a long time. Come on, Alice, call him. I'm sure he'll be happy to hear from you. Well, maybe you're right. Okay, I'll call him. Thanks, Jack. For your advice, I mean. Yes, that's exactly what I told him. I sent him an email asking for more information. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, I didn't have enough time today. Okay. Okay, I'll call him in ten minutes. Bye. Hi, Jack. Hi, Anne. So, did you have a good day? No, I didn't. It was a horrible day, Anne. I had a lot of work to do. First, I met some clients in the city. We met at nine o'clock and finished at two. After that. I checked the monthly loss and profit accounts twice, and then I wrote some letters. I'm so tired. Well, now relax. Have a glass of wine. You're lucky. I'm cooking lasagna, your favorite dish. No, thanks, Anne. I ate lasagna at lunch. Oh, but it's not a problem. I'll prepare something else. And after dinner, we can watch Wimbledon on TV. There is a men's singles match. It should be exciting. I'm sorry, Anne. I, I can't. I have some work to finish, and then I'm going to my karate gym. That's how I relax. Hey, Jack, just a moment. Didn't you notice anything? Did you clean the kitchen? No, I didn't. Ah,、oh, did you receive your marvelous set of Chinese plates? No, Jack. Nothing about the house. It's about me. Oh, I see. You bought a new pair of shoes, didn't you? They're very nice. Well, I have to go now. It's late. It doesn't matter. Go. Bye. Such a waste of time. Hey Anne, thanks a lot for the tip on the bookshop. Oh my God, Anne, what's happening here? Makeup? Let me see. A new hairstyle? A new dress? You look great. At last, somebody noticed my change. It's impossible not to notice. Thanks. Well, what were you talking about? Oh, I wanted to thank you for the tip on the bookshop. It's a great shop. Great! I'm glad you liked it. I love sitting and drinking a cup of coffee and looking at books. Yes.
That's exactly what I did. I sat down, ordered a cup of coffee, and read. And I found all the books I wanted. What books did you buy? I bought a biography about Virginia Woolf and a book about archaeology. And you, what are you doing? I'm trying not to think about all my problems. So, I'm looking at some pictures. Can I see them? Sure. They're pictures of us. Oh, look. Look at this one. We're in Edinburgh. We went on a trip. Do you remember? Yes, I do. How funny Alice was in that Scottish hat. Did we go by car? Oh, no, we didn't. We went by train. And at the very last moment, Peter didn't come because of the audition. Yes, as usual. And who is this? I don't know him. Oh, that's Frank, a friend of mine. I met him on holiday in Norway. We had a good time together. Afterward, he went his way and I went my way. Yeah, that's life. Did you have an affair with him? No, no, I didn't. Nothing like that. We were only good friends. Do you keep in touch? No, we don't. He wrote me a letter five years ago. He sent me an invitation to his wedding. Did you go? No, I didn't. Well, unfortunately, I had a lot of work. And I couldn't get away. Hey, but this is Jack. How smart he looks in this picture. Yes, he does. Do you mind, Anne, if I keep this picture with me? I... I do mind. No way. I'm sorry, Sharon, but no. Why not? What do you care about it? And you? What do you care about it? Hey, girls. What's happening here? Nothing at all. <laughs>